The most unique thing about IAC is its ability to bring together the heads of space agencies all over the world into a single room. The IAF Global Space Leaders Summit happened yesterday here on site at the IAC where heads of space agencies got together to discuss how international collaboration will fuel the next generation of space exploration and research. Let's try and find out what was talked about. You were the host of last year's IAF Global Space Leaders Summit and you also attended this year's summit here in Sydney. Can you tell us what makes this IAF initiative so unique? It's a very important initiative which started the last year with the, within the AIC in Milan, putting around the same table uh, about 70 head of agencies and uh, space leaders. Uh, and this year is something around 50. Uh, space leaders and end of agency which want to discuss together uh, about space, about space governance, about space sustainability, uh, about equitable access to space and so we want to discuss together in order to uh, identify common and share actions uh, to this purpose. Why is it so important and so effective to have all these global space leaders at the one table? Uh, I mean, you need international collaboration to reach these objectives. And so the international collaboration needs the involvement of the head of agency and uh, of the space leaders. And this is exactly what we are doing, looking to the peaceful use of, of outer space, which is our main objective together, as I said, with uh, space sustainability. The theme of this year's summit is Global Space Governance Shaping the Future Together. Can you highlight some initiatives that ASI has done in collaboration with other agencies? I mean, the list is quite long. So we have the relationship in terms of a bilateral or in terms of multilateral. Just some few examples to give to you an idea. In terms of bilateral, we have this very strong partnership with NASA. Uh, which started from the 1997 uh, with a building up of the International Space Station and just jumping now uh, is uh, concretized by the uh, fourth habitation lunar module which will be uh, built in Italy. Uh, then we have in terms of, of uh, um, bilateral uh, relationship with many, many Latin American countries uh, African countries inside the Matei plan for Italy. Uh, also in, on this area we organized a meeting, the first Italian-African space meetings last year during AIC Milan, uh, which was participated by the 22 countries, African countries, uh, on the basis of an uh, equal basic cooperation and collaboration in the space area. And then in terms of uh, multilateral, we have all the actions inside and together with European Space uh, Agency. So really a very long list of action, which is one of the uh, tradition in terms of space diplomacy of our country and of the Italian Space Agency. For sure, a lot of collaboration happening around yeah. the world. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you to you.